Hello and welcome back to another fun-filled fake news freakout, this time with a mentally deranged Canadian MP with no self-awareness who attempts to smear and demonize millions of people with completely imagined flags and a straight-up nutjob conspiracy theory, which I have no doubt she thinks is in the conspiracy theory when she does it. But first, a quick message about this new special offer from C60 Evo. Nothing is more important than our health. As we struggle with health system changes and an overload of questionable information, we need to make sure we take care of our mind and bodies. Because of this, I recommend C60 Evo. C60 Evo has been a part of my daily routine for a while now, and I gotta tell you, I love the increased energy and the increased mental focus, which you may have noticed in my videos. And best of all, just like thousands of other customers, I've noticed some very positive changes in my sleep. Here's why you should at least try C60 Evo's olive oil product. It's manufactured right here in America. It's based on Nobel Prize winning chemistry and is supported by peer reviewed published research, including a longevity experiment where the test subjects received the C60 Evo formula lived 90% longer than the control group. It's one of the only products on the market that you take in the morning to help support boosted energy and mental focus during the day, then positive sleep that night. With only one teaspoon of the C60 Evo product, I now wake up refreshed and confident that I'm taking care of my mind and body. So go to my link in the description or pinned comment and take advantage of a 20% savings by going on subscription. You can cancel at any time. And make sure to use the promo code DRONETECH to get an additional 10% off. I've heard the words of my colleague on the other side of the floor and so I have a few questions. Um, as a Jewish member of parliament myself and a descendant of survivors of the Holocaust as well, I like many Canadians were shocked to see Nazi flags, Confederate flags, dismayed and angry and hurt, horribly hurt. So how many Nazi flags does it take? How much vitriol do we have to see of Hong Kong, which is an acronym for Hail Hitler, do we need to see by these protesters on social media? Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? Hong Kong indeed, you f Clown. Let me tell you something, you low life lying, four flushing sack of shit. That's right, these lunatics have now arbitrarily decided that honking your horn twice means Heil Hitler. A transparently stupid idea to demonize her political opponents to justify a harsh crackdown by the Canadian government. It's not easy to do that to peaceful protesters, so just turn them into monsters using a conspiracy theory that, as far as I can tell, originated at an Antifa Twitter account. The communist terrorist account says, quote, it's easy to miss Nazi alt-right signifiers are if you aren't swimming in this cesspool all the time. So this is going to be a running thread on what to watch for with special emphasis on vocabulary and symbols that should make you suspicious. She goes on to provide a bunch of Pepe the Clown memes as proof. Remember, because they already arbitrarily decided that the frog was a secret Nazi symbol. That's how this self-feeding propaganda cesspool works. The Canadian the NMP also prefaced her insane accusations with other dubious claims, such as the Freedom Convoy protesters carrying Nazi and Confederate flags as proof of their evil. This is a tactic we often see employed against the left's political opposition anytime protests arise when they're in power. We saw this with the Tea Party when Barack Obama was president, where the media would find some random person with a Confederate flag, then use that one person to smear the whole protest as racist. They did it again with the anti-lockdown protests, again finding one guy with the Confederate flag and one person with a sign comparing Gretchen Whitmer to Nazis. Then the media, along with Gretchen Whitmer, claimed that the anti-lockdown protests were filled with Nazi and Confederate flags. The fact of the matter is, we have to listen to the epidemiologist and our public health expert. And displays like the one that we saw at our Capitol is not representative of who we are in Michigan. There were swastikas and Confederate flags and nooses and people with assault rifles. Given this well-documented tactic, I started looking into these evil flags allegedly being associated with the Freedom Convoy. And unsurprisingly, found the Canadian MPs and the leftist media doing exactly what they do here. All right, so I looked up Freedom Convoy Canada flags and just wanted to see pictures of the protests and you know see what all was there. And what you pretty much see are mostly Canadian flags. I mean, you look at these pictures, you're gonna see lots of Canadian flags. Um, there are other flags also, but you know, nothing, no Confederate or anything like that. 
Uh, but when you look here, you see this picture, which is the one when you start looking into this. This is the, the picture or, you know, various pictures of this guy that the media was using as proof of, you know, horrible, evil people being associated with these protests. Now, who is this guy? Who knows? You know, he's walking around with his hood up. Looks like he's trying to hide his face. He's sort of looking down. And all the pictures you see of this guy, it, it's that way. It says his face is hidden. So, you know, they don't want to they don't want to show that none of the articles that I found about it uh, made any attempt to interview him or find out who he was continuing to look here. Uh, American flag, Canadian flags. You know, I'm not seeing any Nazi flags at, at all in here. I mean, looking at these pictures, look, uh, lots of flags, not any Confederate flags or Nazi flags, uh, you know, and I don't know why anybody would have those flags. These. That's not who these people are pretty clearly and obviously continuing to look here i you know i'm not seeing all these horrible flags that this canadian mp uh claims that are at these protests you would think uh let me just see since i mean this has got to be pretty easy here right nazi flags okay so we have this but this isn't like a nazi with an ss here so like promoting nazism this is a person comparing justin trudeau to a Nazi, which, as we know, is perfectly acceptable for uh, left wingers to do. They can, they can, and Democrats, they can compare their political opponents to Nazis all the time. Immigration detention centers to concentration camps and the Holocaust, they can do that. But when their political opposition does it, they play dumb and pretend like their uh, political opponents are actually endorsing these groups. I mean, and look at this it, it's literally a drawing. Like, that's not real. <laughs> it's a confederate and a nazi flag in this convoy it's a drawing where's the actual thing so finally i came across this uh and i do remember seeing this the day of that protest this is one guy it's literally one guy here standing with it now i don't know who these other guys staying with them are uh at the tops this is four people uh which this flag's okay canadian flags okay i mean personally i wouldn't want to be standing around this flag uh, but who who is this person again? We have no idea for all we know This could be a member of the Canadian government, you know, a Justin Trudeau lackey who went out there and did that specifically So it was a photo op so the media could then You know take that picture and, and smear the entire protest. Are we seeing Nazi flags everywhere? Nope It's just this one which is why it's the only picture you're gonna find of one Okay, very suspicious. Lastly, I went to Snopes because they had an article here. Swastika and Confederate flag seen in Canadians Freedom Convoy. These were the sightings of swastikas and other symbols of hate at Freedom Convoy protest. So this is, I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be very misleading because these symbols are not being used as symbols of hate. They're being used as satire. And they know this. These people know it. But they are purposely being dishonest, just like this Canadian MP, just like the media. Oh, and here we come to our first one. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's a Nazi swastika with poop on it. That's not an endorsement of, of Nazism. What? <laughs> then we have this one where uh, it's an upside down Nazi flag and you can't really see what it says, but there's it looks like there's a uh, uh, swastika on it and it says something Nazi something pass nazi passport maybe that's what they're getting at. i don't know either way this doesn't look like an endorsement either this looks like again they're comparing what they're seeing to nazism so this is not an endorsement of nazis these people are not nazis okay who knows who this guy was this guy could have been a member of the media could have been some antifa leftist who showed up specifically to get these pictures um who knows uh, i'm guessing these people were together i i really don't know uh but that's their one Nazi flag and it's very suspicious. So these examples end up looking exactly like what we see here in the US when they're trying to demonize protests against the leftist Democrat government. What we end up having is like one guy with a Confederate flag and a couple other people who use the swastika as satire to attack the restrictions and policies. We know that the left does this all the time and nobody in the media, none of these politicians ever compare those people to actually being Nazis because they know what they're doing. That they're using it as a comparison but again these people think that it's somehow different when they do it all right folks that's all i have for that one i hope you enjoyed it please hit that like button then leave me a comment to let us know what you think